Hi, I'm Les Meadowcroft with Vetovation. The Vetovation endoscopy system enables the use of both flexible and rigid scopes for diagnostic and therapeutic solutions in your practice. The high definition camera system enables upper and lower endoscopy to biopsy tissue or remove a foreign object. We also have a smaller version flexible scope for rhinoscopy, bronchoscopy, and cystoscopy. One of the unique features of the system is the ability to exchange your flexible scope for a camera head that attaches to a rigid scope. This now enables you to perform video otoscopy, rhinoscopy, cystoscopy with a rigid scope. The high definition gastroscope system is very easy to use. Once the system is powered on, turn the light on, turn your pump on, the pump controls fluid and air going into the scope and into the patient. Once you've turned your light on, you'll want to white balance your scope so that it, the system knows what is white and black and all the colors in between. You'll want to put distilled water into your um, water bottle that is attached to the side of the scope. You'll want to take your floor suction canister and attach a tube to be able to suck the air or any fluid in the stomach out. You'll want to have the red dot up on your camera to attach to the side of the scope. Any pictures or video that is taken during the procedure is all downloaded onto an SD card that's housed here. Okay. Many mobile practices or practices that have space limitations like the processor to come with an, a monitor attached to it. The monitor is a flip top monitor so when not in use it can easily rotate down. All of the other functionality is the same within the other gastroscope. Most people will hold the gastroscope in their left hand that gives you easy control of the blue button which controls air going into the stomach to distend the stomach and give you a working space. If you just depress the blue button, that will then give you fluid across the tip of the scope. If it gets smudged, you can wipe it off. The red button evacuates any air that's in the stomach at the end of the procedure or will also suck out um, any fluid. The button above the red button takes a still shot image. The button that's on your thumb Takes, turns video on or video off during the procedure. The large dial controls retroflexion of your scope back and forth. And then the smaller dial turns your scope right and left. The knob at the front will lock your scope in place for the small dial. The knob in the back will lock your, place in, in, lock your scope in place for the back dial. Instruments can be introduced down the working channel. The flexible rhinoscope, cystoscope, bronchoscope is one meter in length and 5.8 millimeters in outer diameter with a two millimeter working port. The tip of the retroflexion of the scope is controlled with the dial here. So you can move it back and forth. If you want to hook the um, scope to oxygen, you can do that there and then depress the button to give oxygen. Taking pictures and video is controlled here and your working channel is here. If you want to perform rigid endoscopy, you can utilize a camera like this. Make sure that the red dot is up on the signal connector and that will plug in. Use a standard laparoscopic light cord to attach to the side of your scope, and then you'll be able to perform rigid endoscopy. The camera attaches to any standard scope, just like that, with the light cord then attaching to the side of the scope. Now you have a video otoscope that has a working channel. You can attach a standard IV bag to this side to be able to flush and run fluids into the ear or you can attach and or you can attach an instrument that you can now remove wax, hair, or take a biopsy. Okay. Enabling suction and irrigation during video otoscopy is very beneficial. So with this suction irrigation handle, you can attach it to an IV bag with a pressure cuff and then your floor suction canister. Depressing this button will give you irrigation into the patient. 
Depressing this button will suck that fluid back out. Most people use a standard five French red rubber catheter to introduce this down the lumen of your scope. The multi-purpose scope is frequently used for rigid rhinoscopy or cystoscopy. The system comes with a shaft, an obturator, a bridge, and a scope that is either uh, available in a zero degree or a 30 degree. If doing female cystoscopy, you'll want to use the obturator, which locks into place so that the tip is smooth as it's introduced into the patient. Then take the obturator out, utilize the bridge, locking it in place enables you to then introduce the scope into the patient down the shaft. You have two ports to be able to run fluids through and you have a working channel that your grasper can go to. This also hooks to your camera. If you're interested in evaluating this technology or adding laparoscopy or endoscopy to your practice, please contact Vetovation at area code 919-247-0328. You can also find additional videos and product information on our website, vetovation.com. Thank you.